Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how we go from here to here, only using Lightroom. Here's an older image I shot at Balboa Pier in Newport Beach. I'm going to show you how to make this image really glow bright. I used the rushing waves as my foreground element. I'm going to show you how to highlight them and make them really pop. Alright, let's start at the bottom like we always do. Update to the newest version. This was shot in 2013, so I haven't touched this image in quite a while. We don't need to add any vignetting. The image is already straight. We'll add our profile corrections and a chromatic aberration removal. As usual, we'll add 100 sharpening and we'll apply a mask. We don't want to sharpen any of the sky, so we'll put a heavy mask on it up to 45. Only the areas that are highlighted in white are going to be getting sharpening. If you sharpen the sky, you'll just be adding more grain and noise. And since this was shot on an old camera, a Canon 40D, we need to take care of everything that we can. We don't have much room to afford for adding in noise or grain. We're not going to split tone this image and we'll come back to the HSL panel. Let's start up here. We're going to apply the Adobe Landscape preset. It gets us close to the image we want. It adds a lot of vibrance and contrast. Let's warm this image up a bit. That's a good starting point. And looking at the image here, it looks pretty bright, but if you look up here at our histogram, you can see we're all the way towards the left. If you were to go and print this image, it's going to come out quite dark. And this is going to be the reason why. Because our histogram is not pushed over. So let's bring our exposure up. Now we have a nice peak right in the middle and we're closer to the right edge. Let's recover those highlights in the sky. And now that we brought our histogram back down, let's bring it back up with the white slider. Now we're all the way over to the right and to the left. We have a nice base exposure. You can see we have a lot of bright, intense light in the center. It's almost like we're there now. Let's do some adjusting of our colors. As usual, I start on the luminance, which is the brightness and darkness of each color. We're going to darken a few of the colors. Let's darken red, yellow, and magenta. After we do the luminance, we go to saturation, and we're going to bump each of those colors up just a little bit. I'm going to use the brush tool to bring out our foreground element. I'm always looking for a foreground element before I'm looking for my midground and background. I feel the foreground is what draws the eye in to the image. So select your brush tool. We have auto mask on. We're just going to use a wide brush and select all of this white water here. You can press O to bring up the mask to see what we're affecting. We'll turn it off so we can see what we want to work with. Let's add a little bit of texture and some exposure. So now we brighten it up and we added some detail. It really draws your eye in. So you first see the rushing water. It's nicely blurred by our slow shutter speed. And then you see the pier and then the, for the background with the bright colors. Now the last step, let's remove these spots. Click on your spot removal tool. If the visualize spot bar isn't turned on, click it on. If you can't see this, just press T and it'll open your toolbar. What this tool does is it allows you to see where your spots, your dust spots are. So let's go ahead and just remove these really quickly. My sensor is quite dirty. That one's a little bit far, so let's keep it closer. Looking good. And that's our final image.
This was a quick and simple edit, but I like the results. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.